Welcome, my name is Sabina al -Bakr. This practical tip video is about the right location for your kiln. This is crucial for the safety and durability of a kiln. Please choose a well-ventilated, sufficiently large room that has as consistent a temperature as possible throughout the year. The floor should be level and the floor covering should be made of non-flammable material, for example, tiles, concrete or the like. If you have any concerns about the base, we recommend placing a sufficiently large plate made of non-combustible material under the kiln. Our strong advice is to store all materials in another different room. Please pay particular attention to this if several people use or operate the kiln, i.e. have access to the firing chamber. If you want to secure your kiln against unintentional opening, you can equip every rotor top loader with a security lock. Please select locations where the kiln can stand alone. Washing machines and dryers, for example, give off moisture, which can corrode the kiln. Wood and metal working machines generate dust that can be deposited in and on the kiln. Find out more on the subject of dust in our video about idle kilns. Every kiln should be placed in a freestanding position, close to the power source, so that it can be operated without extension cables and the associated loss of power. The supply cable must not touch the kiln under any circumstances. For safety reasons, we recommend observing the recommended gaps between the kiln and walls and only placing shelves and storage surfaces at least 25 centimeters away in any direction. When setting up, please ensure that the nameplate can be easily read or photographed or archive the nameplate information at the very beginning. The information on it is important for ordering spare parts and also serves as equipment information for an electrician, for example. Attach the controller to the right arm of the cover bolt using the bracket supplied or mount the bracket on the wall. Please choose the option that's most convenient for you. In any case, please avoid placing the controller on the kiln. Thank you very much for watching. We hope to see you again for the next Rhoda Practical Tip video. Enjoy your ceramic results.